What's going on guys? It's a beautiful day outside. Boy, look, so uh, today <clears throat> I've got to go to a place. We're gonna go and check this thing out, see what happens, uh, see if it's something that, you know, I see a lot of people looking and using this. Look at all this dead gum wind. Um, see a lot of people using this stuff uh, or using this thing. So I figure I'm gonna go, they finally start selling them in my area. I'm gonna go check them out, get one probably. <sighs> Truck's filthy, got some rain last night, much well needed. Let's get to this place. Let's see if they got what I need. And uh, then, well, let's get back home here. All right, guys, let's get out here and see if, uh, well, we're at Northern Tool here. And let's go see if they got what I'm looking for. We got one. And we're going to see if this thing is all hype or if it's really worth it. Now, the problem I have with this is I just spent 160 something dollars or whatever with tax and everything on this and i can't even get the the parts uh so like the cover that i would want can't get the uh bottom i want well they don't have any extra parts so you can only buy the barrel so how do i get these extra uh parts now that i would you know buy with this purchase but they don't carry uh they only carry this so how do i get these extra products now do i have to order that online somewhere what what's the deal all right guys uh anyway back home got this thing together and uh well we got the ropes in here and you know todd did not like they sit close to the ends and uh so anyway i was i was talking to the guy about uh i made a call and i was talking to the guy about let me pull this off um you know have they ever thought about putting an indention on the bottom of this thing so when uh you flip it over or whatever and you do your straps <clears throat> it's got a place to sit and he's like well we tell most people to just uh run your straps through the handles um you know and it ain't going nowhere and i'm like okay but uh anyway so i asked him about the parts thing i'm like you know why can i buy this here but yet i can't get the what i wanted to get here uh but he said that they just started carrying them at the place northern tool um here in my area and they wanted to see i guess how well they were going to do before they started carrying any of the other stuff uh so i had to get on pro parts direct and order the lid uh which is a waterproof cover it's 25 dollars, and i ordered an extra base uh which is 35 dollars for y'all wanting to know. Now that's, I don't know what it cost uh, if you were to go to a, a, any place and order, actually order it. But here's my, we're gonna see what, how good Pro Parts Direct service is because it asked me for my shipping address, my zip code, everything. I went through, went through the payment process and it never charged me shipping. Uh, so it just charged me the $60 and 98 cents or whatever it was for the cover and the thing. So, uh, I called before I ever ordered pro parts direct. And I said, I'm in the middle of buying these two items. It's not, uh, telling me a shipping price. So is it going to wait for me to order? And then it's going to charge me shipping later. Uh, because if shipping's crazy, well, I'm not going to order it. And the guy's like, well, it should automatically calculate the shipping at checkout. And I'm like, okay. So, uh, well, needless to say, um, it did not calculate any shipping at checkout. It just says zero for shipping. So I'm taking it as it was only $60.98 for the cover and the extra base shipped. Uh, now we will see if that is actually what it is or not, I should find out uh, probably later on the day once I get a confirmation email of it being shipped. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. We'll see how well this thing holds up, but <coughs> my wife came out and she's like, what is this big thing? So I told her and she's like, oh, that's gonna be awesome. When I'm, I'm like, well, I didn't get it for you, but okay, yeah. Uh, so she can't wait to use it for the flower beds, but I mean, first impressions, uh, very well built. 
and I kind of like the concept of it. Uh, honestly, is it worth $149.99 without tax? Uh, I remember when they were selling them at the the uh, GIE a couple years ago for 100 bucks at the show. I know that was, you know, a show price, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, uh, $150 bucks if it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts if it makes it through the season. I'd spend 150 bucks on another one every year uh if this you know lasts and does what it's supposed to do and everything else personally uh because well you can't get much for um that price range that actually holds up so i don't have a clue where this is made i don't see anywhere where it says it's made i mean i'm i'm assuming <clears throat> uh here we go so uh nothing okay sandy hooks connecticut is where they're at but nothing about where they're made got some handles on the bottom um these are these rings are adjustable or not adjustable but uh changeable so if you you know start getting wore out well you can pull these off and put a new one on kind of like that they also make a obnoxious obnoxiously big dolly for these but it is what it is. Uh, I would never buy the dolly just because of how big it is personally. But anyway, all right, let's get let's get moving on here with this day. Boy, the grass is growing. Look at this. Look how much the grass is like. This was all. I mean, it's it's growing pretty good. But hey, okay. Anyway, let's uh look. I'm gonna give you one good tip trick. Uh, it's not even a trick. It's just a a great tip. Okay. It's the beginning of the season regardless every couple months always check your lug nuts check your uh your bearings your tire tread make sure your trailer is in good condition make sure your brake box is working uh, make sure you have your your breakaway um just double check everything every couple of months or every time you're loading up you know it's it's not hard to just look at your tire tread but uh the last thing you want to do is have a wheel fall off or have a bad bearing and the wheel go flying and hit a car we've got so much uh maintenance wise anyway that this is i understand it's very time consuming but nothing beats safety you know what i mean like check your trailers it's the beginning of the season uh here in the midwest anyway you know check your trailers make sure everything's great with them so uh another thing i want to talk to you about is i want to show you this real quick i've seen a lot of people um on tiktok and such talking about <clears throat> knowing their prices and uh how much profit you're going to make on a job and this that and other so i'm going to show you this uh real quick with jobber because this is another one of those reasons why i love jobber software is it literally can tell you your profit margins and such of that okay let's take a look at this all right guys so this is going to tell you your profit margins so what the first thing we're going to see here is the cost of a product it's going to cost us to the right is what we're charging the client then down below here we have our labor hours which we're only going to be able to see then here we're going to see our total price our uh, labor our ex expenses you know everything what it cost us and how much profit we're actually making guys if you haven't tried this software you have to go try jobber and see if it's something that's right for you all right guys so there you have it it's that simple it's that easy i mean if you want to try it there's a link below you can get a free trial uh but i do have a question for you regardless of the crm you are using let me know down below what you do or what you don't like about it like if you could change one thing about the crm you're using what would it be what would you like to see your crm do better um or maybe it does everything you like it to do so anyway uh thanks for watching guys that's going to do it for this one we're whew, season's coming quick quick i think next week we're going to start mowing so uh we'll see but anyway uh thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe 
I'm Danny. I will see you in the next one.